while we're here, let's go ahead and get started with some of the notes that I've taken since the last time we played. I might have to do some setup here. Let's see. Um, oh, actually, we're good. Wow, look at that. Just gotta adjust here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I haven't changed this scene yet. That's good. So, <laughs> let us read from the book of Winterbit's Insane Ramblings, shall we? As we remember, this is my translation of everything to do with Trunic, which we now know is its name. Um, one rune equals one syllable. The line in the center is almost always present for the sake of legibility. However, it serves no other purpose. Um, the line on the right is never present because putting these runes right next to each other would mean that would end up getting read as the vowel of the next rune. So that never appears. Um, we have almost all of the phonetics here. I think I'm missing two of these. I don't know if I'm using phonetics correctly either, but uh, um, a whole bunch of lines that I translated in order to get to this point. And then, of course, all the, uh, the consonant sounds, of which I think I'm only missing one or two of those as well. So I'm feeling pretty good about my overall progress here. And at this point, I've kind of given in and just decided to look up the language if I need to translate anything else, because I've done the work. You know, I can, I can do whatever I need to with this right here, if I really, really want to, but, uh... Yeah, it just takes time, and I'd rather not take the time, honestly. So, moving on to... I still have to figure out if the Siege Engine does anything here with all this number stuff. But, uh, yeah, we already went through all of this. We already went through all this. This is what I was trying to figure out last stream with the Cliff Tower. Hello, Dragon Sage! Welcome on in! Wow, I actually... Nailed the heart first try <laughs> in the mirror. That's pretty good. Now I know I can just do this. Ah, I hope you're having a good night. Uh, we now know that all of this is wrong. Um, <laughs> so now, now we're getting to the parts that are brand new. So here I translated the boss scavenger just for fun. Yeah, I know phone. I, I know that I stream. Thank you. Um, translated the boss scavenger. The uh, translation equals the queen of those who pick the holes of this land. It's pretty cool. Um, hidden secrets page. Okay, now here's where I got all these ideas. Notice I labeled them ideas. <laughs> um, so... One thing I noticed is that the magic orb actually has, if you look at the uh, the art of it, both in the game and the manual, it actually looks like it has one of those creatures that's on the, um, the statues around the base of the glyph tower. And uh, to the left of it, it also translates to Odd Door, which is not at all how you use it in the game. In the game, it's used as a grapple hook, like a hook shot. It says, rotate it around the forbidden axis and partially summon a disquiet being. So now I need to figure out what the forbidden axis is. Besides, perhaps, time. From which I got the idea of using the magic orb while time slowing. So that's one of the things I'm going to try tonight. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I also thought about this line... Unsing to them the greatest song, the song of the Golden Path, as seen from within. There are a lot of withins that this could mean. And what I figure is that I can just try all the ones I can think of. For example, listening inside the door in the mountain room, or at least examining things around there, because it really feels like there's more to it than just a page. But that might be the, the case. Um... Oh, another thing I noticed is that on the back of the manual, page 55, there is a code. I'm not sure if I've used the code yet. 
but it implies that I should use it on the heel hero's grave in the east forest at nighttime. So I'm gonna go do that. I don't know if that's gonna lead to anything, but I want to try that. And then someone during an SGDQ speedrun that I watched, 100% SGDQ run of this game, gave the code L-R-L-L-L-R-U-D-U-L-R. And I don't know if that has anything to do, if it's even a real code or not, but I'm still going to try it. Um, I'm also going to try clicking the sticks while I have the magic orb equipped, and or am using it, because that is a third dimension, and that might be the for forbidden axis. Um, magic orb while time slowing. From within, um, I, I thought about interpreting that as moving with the analog stick. So, like, inputting the golden path code, but with the analog stick. I have my doubts about that one, because it, it doesn't seem right, but we'll see. And then, uh, grapple the gem in the cathedral if I can. I'll get to it if I get to it. But this is the one that's very important tonight, I think. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm confident enough in this being the answer that I actually grafted out over here. But from within could very well mean viewing from the other side of the monitor. In which case, the golden path would be horizontally flipped. And that is the first thing I'm gonna try tonight. You see how confident I was. I, uh, actually bothered mapping it out here. All the way through. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I do have a couple more notes here to get to before we go get started. Um, a couple more things that probably don't matter. We'll see, though. I also thought about finding all of the, uh, I called them hexagon heads here, but essentially it's a bunch of, uh, statues of those beings. The strange slash disquiet beings. That may or may not have anything to do with it, but we'll see. Um, then I had a couple more ideas. About translating the blade's runes. I also noticed that the arches in the quarry were shaped like vowels, so I kind of want to figure those out, if possible. Hey, welcome back, Leo. Congratulations on doing the laundry. I'm just going over my notes since last week. And I'll get to your D20 in just a bit. Um, I noticed there was a multicolored light in the eastern vault entrance at nighttime, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try using the magic orb on that maybe. I don't know, but I also thought about in translating the blade's runes. Of the magic dagger, which I'm not sure I can do without doing New Game Plus or something, actually. Um, but oh, this is interesting. I saw that there was a, uh, a like a a Holy Cross pattern on the uh, the hoodie that Tunic was selling a while back. I'm gonna try to find that and see if I can see if that does anything. Because knowing this game, it could very well be. Which reminds me, oh yeah, I already translated the hardcover manual. Um, it, it's just the same as describing the A and B endings in the regular manual. But I forgot to mention that I'm wondering if this is going to end up being like... Where is it? Here it is. I thought about it. Might, it this might become kind of like Inscription, where there's like a big wild goose chase. I don't know what to call it, but you know how Inscription just hides layers upon layers of secrets? It might be a sequential thing like that, and I'm gonna have to prepare for it to possibly be that. However, I don't know yet. This is to be seen. And we're gonna start with this. So let's go ahead and get the game cracked open. Oh, well, actually, first, we're gonna take care of a D20 redemption. So give me a sec. Hello, Aiden. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. It is nice to see ya. Alright, here we go. Drum roll, dice roll, off we go. Finish. That is an 11. Congratulations. You have won... ...a juggling... ...session. Jug. 
hee hee jug. All right, here we go. Hopefully I don't hit anything this time. All right, three, two, one, off we go. Now this is what we call a flow state. Woo! All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's game time. Let's do this. My winner bit has a yin yang shirt. Like that one Nitrome game, yin yang. Ha <laughs> It's true. It's true. All right, it's tunic time, y'all. Let's go ahead and pause the music. I can't believe we're still doing Golden Path stuff. Ding, dum, dum. That reminds me. Oh, I tuned my kalimba yesterday, but I forgot to bring it down with me. <laughs> you have 10 points to a d20 redeem? Nice, it's coming soon then, Aiden. It begins. What's the title screen mean? It means you have started the game. <laughs> Um, it, it, that's basically the, uh, the big sword that the air uses to fight you. Not much deeper than that, as far as I can tell. Anyway. Oh, the text? Uh, oh. Okay, so that's actually all one set of runes split into two, with tunic put in the middle. And the runes that have been split in two read Secret Legend. Which is not only the name of the, uh, not only the title of the window in which the game plays, but also, I believe, the beta name for this game as a whole. Which is pretty neat. Also hear that doo -doo 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 -doo. I wonder if that means anything in the, uh, the music language. I wonder if this is going to tell us how to how to deal with the music language, or if it's like far more obscure than that. I don't know. However, here's a new addition to tonight's stream. It is the browser window, and I'm going to be using said browser window. find this tunic game hoodie. Wow, where is it? Hang on. There it is. Yeah, I think this is it. So I decided That maybe, just maybe, you see this dot at the bottom? I'm thinking maybe that is a, a secret code. Because you notice how it's split on the side? Hang on. There, so it's up, left, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, right, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, down, left. So I'm going to try that. Wait, what was it again? <laughs> I closed the window. Here we go. So it's... Oh, hang on. 
I'm going to turn this on so we can see it. This would be so silly if it worked. Okay. Wait, maybe I need to do it at the, the doors because that's where it's shown here. Cryptic. Very, very cryptic. Okay, like right here. It's been a while since we've heard this music. What doors? Just look in here to see if there's anything I missed. Hey, there it is, Aiden. Congratulations. Hmm. Guess it doesn't do anything. So that's definitely the place. Maybe I'm doing it backward, actually. Let's try it the other way. Maybe there are double lefts and rights. Let me see. Also, let me get to your D20 in just a second, Aiden. Oh, I'm missing. Okay, I see at the very bottom there are actually a couple of those lines. Good idea, Aiden. Those are tough to see. Oh, it still didn't work. Let me inspect it closer. Maybe I need to actually be closer, like right here, closer. This might... I mean, I hesitate to say this might be a red herring, or like, not real. Because it is seemingly very intentional. Wait! Look at me! Look at the fox! <laughs> Sunglasses now! <laughs> hey Jay, didn't you say this was in the, the randomizer? Oh, this is why it's in the randomizer, because it's actually in the game, because you, you, you put the, 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 the hoodie code in and it, it gives you sunglasses! <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That is really cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Where's a... What's a place that zooms in? Oh, I know a place that can zoom in. Let me see. Where do I go to do this? Here. You had a feeling this was gonna happen? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Rip it to Lake Cosmo Mobile. No worries, Jay. It's all good. Uh, we're still discovering things. We're still figuring things out. How is this happening? Bitrate, yeah, it's gonna be like that on occasion. My apologies. All right. 
Here we go. Best of luck to you, Aiden. Drum roll, dice roll. Stop. Off we go. Finish. That is a 15. Congratulations, I fold a crane. Now, what crane is it going to be? Let's roll a tiny d10 and find out. What color crane? It's going to be color number three. Which is, uh, pink. That's a good color crane. We get to chill to this music. You guessed seven? Ah, rip. Okay, here we go. So this is good opportunity for an AMA, or if anyone has suggestions as to things to try. 10 minus 7 is 3. That's true. My crane folding method is a little bit cheaty. You're supposed to, to fold it perpendicular the other direction first, but I kind of just do this. And then you flip it. But yeah, I'm excited for tonight. This, uh... I mean, we already figured out one thing that worked great. So wait, Jay, did you know that, uh... The hoodie had the, uh, the sunglasses? Ooh, you want to ask Tucky that question? Are you sure? Too late, I'm asking already. Here we go. What's zero divided by zero? No one knows. It's possible that zero divided by zero is some unknown number mathematicians have yet to discover. Maybe they'll name it after you. I highly doubt that, but thank you for answering my question. You know, fun fact, the, uh, the techie noise for dialing it up actually, uh, emerged around the same time as I was making the first song for my uh, Calcium album, which was about June or July last year. We're coming up on a year of when I started making Calcium. That's pretty amazing. Especially considering I had such a fast turnover. My goodness, I worked, <laughs> I worked myself silly with that one. But it was worth it. I'm very proud of that album. All I could ask is that it gained a little bit more traction, you know, promotional-wise. And there we go. That is a pink crane, which shall now sit behind us for the rest of the stream. There we go. All right, let's continue. What's Techie's favorite shape? Let's find out. What's your favorite shape? You can never go wrong with a right triangle. Oh no, that was a pun. Oh no, Techie, how could you? Satan. Ah, here we go.
Welcome to my personal purgatory. Hang on a second. Let me let me get back out of here. I need I need to count. Am I slowly scooting forward when I do this? Oh, not when I'm up against the wall, though. I want a frame-by-frame frame of this. I want to be able to see... I want to be able to see if, how many of these there are. Anyway, I figured out that uh, <laughs> I mistranslated a little bit last time I was here. I thought it said traverse the goal, but it says traverse the glow. So that step is done. Now we only need worry about step three, which is, as we all know, Unsing to them the greatest song, the song of the golden path, as seen from within. And my best guess is that it's this. This right here is my best guess as to what this means. It means we start in the center, and then follow the golden path outward, mirrored. That's what I'm going to attempt. That may or may not lead us here. Which, by the way, I'm very proud of this... This little design I made. And this says, It Ended. Start to It Ended. I'm very clever like that. <laughs> anyway. Let's give it a shot. I'm actually going to do this once without sequence assistance so that we can see everything. Bitrate barely lets you see the design. Oh no! I'm sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. I'm already capped out on my mobile data because mobile data plans suck. And so does rural internet. <laughs> so I apologize. However, we do what we can. So, here we go. We're missing one. That one's empty. I've never seen one empty before. Might need to translate this. Do that says do. Y 
you, do you? So far, it's words. Do you f fear? Do you fear? Oh my god, I think we did it. I think we did it. This is making sense so far. Do you fear? The. Oh, we're gonna write this down. We gotta write this down. <laughs> Do you feel like a pepper too? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm getting chills. Do you fear thee? Oh my god. Oh, we're figuring it out. Do you fear thee? I gotta calm down. <sighs> Eyes. Eyes? Oh god. No. <laughs> Drink more Ovaltine? No. <sighs> okay, um. I'm actually getting a little spooked here, so... Anyone who knows this, what happens? Is there anything creepy that's gonna happen? Because I might actually freak. <laughs> Do you fear the eyes? I'm shaking. <laughs> of... Of... Oh my god, we cracked it! Cracked the code! No, okay. Do you fear the eyes of... Fear the eyes of the... Thank you for the confirmation. Translate it first, we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> Far? Oh, I can't believe this worked! I can't believe this worked! <laughs> Do you fear the eyes of the far? Sure. Period. Co dot co dot co. It's a freaking website. I was right. It is inscription. Let's go. It begins. Oh, no, don't buffer. Don't buffer, that's an epic moment. There we go. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. Nani kore? Spooky sounds time. Oh, this synth work is so good. That sounds like something we got as Petrogram.
I'm turning it way down. Okay. <laughs> I will say I was not expecting this. <laughs> yeah, this definitely has to do with either uh, tunic, T-U-N-E-I-C, or a spectrogram, or both. I feel like maybe it's looping? I'm not sure, but we gotta start recording this. Audacity, go. The file from the website? That's cheating. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay. Let me refresh that, click off, and... Here's what we're going to do. Source code? Source code? Why would it source code? Okay, you know what? Fine. Because I know I could just record it. Because I know I could just do that. We're going to save some time. Besides, we might find some other stuff here. Doesn't look like it, though. It's a 2 minute 38 second sound file. So we're going to download this. I'm going to turn off screen share for a sec. So we can do that. A, and it says question mark. Why does it now say question mark? Oh, that was the time remaining. Okay. MP3 downloaded. Now. I'm... You know what? Maybe I'll just... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna open a, a spectrogram on here. Let's just upload a file. Actually, before I do that, turning off screen share again. There's nothing secret on my... Oh, actually, it's fine here. Nothing secret on my desktop. Alright, y'all ready? Let's go. How do I zoom out? Oh, hang on. It's not actually recording. How do I... I want to zoom it... I want to zoom this out. No, I don't want to... I don't want to make space noises. Why is it... Why is it sick blues riffs, though? Why is it making sick blues riffs? Turns out the disquiet beings just wanted to play some blues with the foxes. Oh god. <laughs> um, I... 
I have no idea, Jay. I need a better... Oh, okay. <laughs> I I need I need a better spectrogram. You're home now, you'll get to your computer and explain. There's probably no need to explain unless I'm literally in the opposite direction of where I need to be. But my goodness, this this really uh went in a direction, didn't it? Oh my god, just give me a spectrogram. Does this? Is this? Here are your cookies. Go. This is a little better. I think maybe it needs to be logarithmic. Wait, that was that was text. What is that? This is all text, isn't it? I need a program that does this better. Let's go back to regular. And that doesn't help. that thing again. Yeah, I really just need a printout of all this, I think. Sure do love that tinnitus noise. Control P. <laughs> Thank you. Not quite the printout I meant, but I appreciate it. And there's there are definitely voices in there. Like that is very clear. Are our voices. I'm just gonna find some software. <laughs> what is it called? Spectralizer? Spectrogram. Wow, I, I, I forgot what spectrograms were called immediately after using one. Ah, <sighs> good job, me. Proud of myself. I guess we're doing this. You used Audacity? Really? Wait, Audacity can do that? Oh. The day I learned. <laughs> It has spectro. See, this is the thing about 
like I don't know what what to call it but it's like the specific genre of freeware where it can do literally anything you want it to but it's extremely complex to use <laughs> and that's audacity for me honestly So I'm going to pull up Audacity. We're going to have a look-see. There it is. BRB Laundry. All right. I'm going to open my downloads folder. Drag A into here. Oh, look at that, it's Petrogram. That is way easier. That is way easier. Who are you? Who are you? What are you? Boy. Boy. Oh, we really got to stretch it out. Zoom in and freeze. Oh, yours was in blue and green. Mine's in purple and red. Interesting. Well, I think we can safely turn on some background music again. Let's kind of turn it down a little bit, though. We do have to think. Hydrate and posture check. Thank you. I do need a posture check. I <laughs> appreciate that. All right. So let's see here. This is insane. <laughs> I love this. I love everything about this. Inverse it. Invert. Like with that command, or...? Be honest, I'm kind of struggling to see the entire picture here. Maybe I should increase the size of Audacity and then just resize the window. Let's do that and then just resize it here. It's going to be a little awkward, bear with me. It'd help if my mouse didn't start glitching all over the place. What's happening? There we go. Now then. what is what, because you can't get terribly detailed with spectrograms. What is this? 